I want to show you some really cool things. <music> Welcome to another exciting episode of Who's Your Back Outdoors. I appreciate you for stopping by. It's another episode where we are not fishing because it's too cold. Plus, we have got a ton of rain and everything is flooded here in the last couple of days. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. I hope you had a Happy New Year. And today, what we're going to be doing is drawing a winner for the hashtag bass fishing giveaway. Plus, I want to show you some really cool things. Now, as you've seen in a video here a while back, my son happened to find my old tackle bag and we went through it and looked at some things in there. Plus his grandpa gave me his old tackle box and it's got a whole bunch of old lures in here. I've already glanced at some of them, but there's so many of them that we're just going to go through a little bit at a time and I'm going to show you some of the things that are in here. So before we get into that, I want to show you something there's a guy that I've watched for a few years. He is down in Kentucky, not very far from me actually. And uh, he had a YouTube channel called KY Bass Boy. And his channel was doing really good actually. Had a lot of subscribers, had a lot of views, but his channel got hacked not once, but twice. And he had to start a new channel. And I just wanted to introduce you to him here today. Uh, this is his channel. Mm, yeah, you can see that. It's called Kentucky Rigged. I will put a link to his channel in the description of this video. Please go down there and show him some love. Please go down there and show him some support. I would really appreciate it. He's trying to build his base of subscribers back up. I think he was up over 10,000 subscribers when his channel got hacked. So I would appreciate it if you go over there and check him out and tell him that we sent you over there. He does excellent, excellent fishing videos and he's a great guy so go check him out and I'd really appreciate it now let's get into this this is an old Plano tackle box and let's start and for some reason now that I've seen this sitting on top here I noticed that one of my old lures had gotten put into this tackle box uh, so we'll check it out real quick. Now, I did do a, a previous check of the rattle traps that are in here, and there is a bunch, starting with this one. There's a whole bunch of old rattle traps in here. And, and then we get to this teeny tiny thing. I'm not even sure what it is. I don't even see no markings on it. Oh, the wee wart. Check out that old crankbait. If it'll clear up, there we go. The wee wart. <laughs> That's an old crankbait. Now this kind of looks like a Berkeley. Looks like a perch. A perch looking uh, crankbait. Doesn't have any hooks. It's been in there for a while. Also, Tell me how many of you, in the comments, tell me how many of you remember this lure, if I can get it untangled. How many of you can remember that lure right there? <laughs> how about that? That is an Arbogast mud bug. I love this bait. It floats in the water like this. Um, because of the heavy aluminum lip on it it floats in the water like this and then it works like a crankbait and then the way i used to use it is i would let it float to the top and then the minute it would break the water i would pull it and then let it float to the top again pull it let it float to the top again and a lot of times your strikes would come right when you would go to pull it after it broke the top of the water because those bass are just watching it waiting on it and the minute it moves their instinct kicks in and they attack it. Now, this is one of my favorite lures from way back when. I was, I was about 16 years old when 
me and my buddy in Arkansas, because I lived there uh, when I was younger, uh, we were fishing, and I was fishing with this exact same lure. I'm 43 now, so that lets you know how old this lure is. This lure's been around for a long time. Arbogast Company has been around for a long time. They make a lot of top water, a, a lot of top water lures also. Anyway, we were fishing at a pond uh, one time. In fact, if you've watched any of my Arkansas videos, I fish on a ranch that has a big, big pond. It's one of the same ponds that's on that same ranch. And we were fishing there and I caught about a five pound largemouth on this right here. And it was really, really muddy, murky water. Back then, those uh, ponds had not been cleaned out and mother nature was taking over. And so they were really nasty at the time. But I caught a huge, huge bass on this crankbait right here. Anyway, Arbogast Mudbug. Let me know if you've used the Arbogast Mudbug. One of my favorite lures. Anyway, let's check out some more of these rattle traps that are in here. If you look here, here's another one. This is the blue and silver. The blue and silver rattle trap. Really neat bait. We're definitely going to have to try some of these when uh, springtime comes around especially with this color here let me get these untangled most of these are tangled there you go with your crawl pattern if I can get that to focus get me out of the picture let's try this there we go crawl pattern rattle trap Then we have a, looks like it used to be red on the bottom, black, silver, and red. Another rattle trap. You can hear them. Got lots of rattles in them. Hence the name, rattle trap. We got that one. We have another silver and blue with the red tip on the tail. Another rattle trap. I guess my son's grandfather really liked rattle traps. Here's another old lure. I don't see any markings on it. Uh, let me know in the comments, maybe a Bagley. Let me know in the comments if you know what kind of fishing lure this is. Looks like a medium diver. Maybe a medium diver crankbait. A lot of the paint is chipped off. old looking lure. In fact, the, the lip is starting to turn yellow. There's another blue and silver rattle trap with the red tip. Looks like uh, that, uh, this one's a little newer. And we have another rattle trap. It's tangled up with some hooks. There we go. There's another rattle trap. Looks like a yellow with an orange pattern on top. Another rattle trap. The eyes have been wore off. In fact, the paint, if you can see right there on the tip, the paint is wearing off. Hmm. Here's another one. This is another silver with the black shad spot on it. Red tip, silver and black has a larger hook on the front than it does the back. I just noticed that. I'm telling you, rattle traps for days. Here's another one in the green, yellow, orange, perch color. Another rattle trap. And the hook on it is really rusty. Really rusty hook. And it's not going to focus. There we go hook is all rusted up and for now last but not least we have this big inline spinner I'm not sure what kind this is either I'll look on here and see if there's any markings I don't see any markings at all but that's that's pretty cool yeah some kind of inline spinner it's pretty heavy too big spinner 
So that's pretty much all we're going to go over in this box for today. We will catch you up with some more baits out of this box in future videos. So make sure you have that notification bell smashed. That way you won't miss out on any video. Okay, let's get to uh, drawing a winner. Let's go to the YouTube random comment picker. And I ask you to put hashtag bass fishing into the comments. And we need to get the YouTube comments. Let's see here. Amount of unique commenters. 41. If you can see that. Yep. Okay. And here's what. Let me put this up. Here's what the winner today will be receiving. You will re be receiving a Castaic deep diving crankbait. You will be receiving a Vexan Deep Thud Series crankbait. If it'll show up. Yep. You will be receiving a Vexan Deep Thud Fat Boy crankbait. Also, you'll be receiving a 360 GT search bait. This is a swim bait. I fish with these and I really like them. Then you will be receiving a Big Bite Baits trailer crawl type bait. And you will also be receiving these cream green pumpkin speed screamers looks like you can use them for a trailer or you can texas rig them something ought to work anyway that's what you'll be receiving today let's get this opened up and find out who the winner is and here we go let's let this get started and we'll pick a winner and start Whoa, Spiked Throne 289. His comment was first, hashtag bass fishing. <laughs> In fact, this person right here usually always is my first commenter on my videos. And I want to say I really appreciate it. I appreciate the uh, having your notification bell hit. I know this guy gets an alert and he's there usually before anybody else is. Thanks so much, Spike Throne 289. Let's make this happen. Get a hold of me at the email in the description below. Send me an email and we'll get this in the mail to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. But until next time, get out there and enjoy the outdoors. We'll see you guys later.